Okay. You're going to say, what kind of library would be dumb enough to put a label like this on it? The whole thing's huge, but in fact, it's only that's how big the audiobook was if you bought it, I bet. The only unabridged recording on compact pack disc. Well, that was a long time ago. 14 discs. The two towers. Now, I have to find a way to get the first and third book for this too, because I'm not going to read this, read this book starting from the um, the where I am now, because that would be stupid. I have the movies and stuff. That's beside the point. This went for a whopping fifty dollars. 14 CDs. Canada had it at 78. With them, you know, they're always more expensive. 14 CDs, 16.75 hours. That's a lot of time. It's a lot of like the um, biographies I listen to and stuff. Let's take a look inside and see what it looks like. Okay, they wrote all over this like crazy. Let's see where this was from. Replacement, July 2018. Let's see if we can tell. Sometimes when they put the marker over it, you can still read it. Disc 1. Hmm. S O U. I can't. I, I think I. Can't. It's very hard to tell, but you can read library on the bottom. G R O U A L. So whatever. Doesn't matter. I attempted to do it. Maybe we'll see it better on another one. That's that. And they wrote right on here too. They got the marker on it. But we didn't look at the damage. Now, yeah, pretty good. Good condition. Just two. So you can read that a little more. No. Oh, Southborough Library. So it's the same one that was in Massachusetts like a lot of the others. Pretty good. I don't understand why they try to cross them all out. I mean, it, it, it looks worse to me because it's a big blob. I'd rather just see the name of the library on all the discs. Um... That's pretty good. It is a slight scratch. That might be a problem down there. I don't know, but I think it might be. But whatever. You gotta take a risk once in a while. Um, that, that's that. It's worse as taking a whisk, risk at Goodwill is that um, if you buy like a VCR or something and it, I have tons of VCRs from there, but some of them didn't work. I had to take, take some of them back, and some of them wasn't worth taking back. Okay. Number six. Just a fingerprint. I hate how some of these books for kids and stuff at the time... Well, these weren't even just for kids. They were for any, anybody. You have to... Lord of the Rings from 1955. Disc 7. Here's the back of the disc there. And, um... That's it. Put it back. And the disc gate. Flawless, almost. A couple of things. You never find a perfect disc, because, you know, these discs are old. These were all made in 1990. Jeez. That means the narrator might not be that great, but whatever, we'll see what happens. Two nothing really on there. These discs are older than some of the most of the people that may be watching. But this one isn't too bad. The library put it in an, a nice case with that um has doesn't have paper things on them like some of them. Uh there's there, that's pretty good. Here's another one. That's pretty good. Got to keep putting them inside the thing. Get some more, um, yeah, that's a tiny scratch over there. Um, this one's in really good condition. Actually surprised. I told you, like I said, as you get towards the end, I might have not said it in this video, a lot of books look, have good uh, quality CDs. You notice the library never wasted any extra sleeves. They always kept them because, you know, libraries don't have any money. So, ah, uh, camera almost fell. That's it. All right, well, that's it, and bye-bye.